Hi there, thank you for joining me once again. My name is Justin with Arbitrary Reviews. Today we have the red copper pan right here. And this one is the one you've seen on TV everywhere. Um, they have plenty of advertisements nationally and they're claiming that it's the best pan on the market as far as I'm concerned. Uh, another thing that you should know is they claim you can cook it without butter, oil, and grease and nothing will stick to the pan, nothing at all. You can bake with the pan, you can throw things in the oven up to 500 degrees, pull it right on back out. Uh, other claims I've heard is that the handle is not supposed to get hot when you're using it on the stove. Watch out for the oven though because obviously it's going to get hot. Uh, so we got some cheese, we got uh, some sugar that we're going to melt down, as well as some eggs we're going to cook. So without further ado, let's tear into this thing. Let's drop that egg in there. Okay. I'm wondering if this is just going to burn the egg to the bottom of the pan. On the commercial they show I'm kind of just swirling these things around, but um, okay, so that's disappointment number one. So like any time I try to make a uh, omelet or a over medium egg, it ends up being a scrambled egg. So, and so we cleaned it out fairly well, um, and now we're gonna try uh, one of the next things that they claim, which is cheese. Alrighty, with uh, the eggs done, and I, I kinda decided, you know, the eggs are difficult to cook to their claims, uh, being able just to kinda flip it over and slide it around, and look at this egg, and you know, no, it's, it's not that fun, and it, it, to be honest with you, it just makes a mess. So let's go ahead here with a little bit of cheese mix here and we are just going to put cube cheese on here so we can also see on the camera it melts nice and evenly through and down and see we get a nice mix going on here. Or if we just end up with a bunch of burnt cheese. Alrighty. So another part of this uh, claim that we have here is uh, it's not going to scratch and I kind of wanted to do this while there's a lot of heat on it and uh, hey, um, I can tell you right now that I have scratched a pan. Um, so this cheat, it, 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 look at this though. That's, to be honest with you, that's a little surprising. Um, so I think the idea here too, a uh, little TV trick that I'm kind of seeing that they may have noticed too is the, uh, the cheese releases a lot of oil and that kind of just, that really helps move this mess around. I'm pretty confident that if I kept this on here, um, eventually it would burn. So, but as far as scratching the pan, that wasn't that hard to do. So, the idea that you're going to put your steak, your uh, onions, your, your, your medley in here and be able to chop inside the pan, I don't think so. Any knife is going to cut right into the pan. The knife that comes with this pan, if you order it off the TV, I'm pretty confident that it would scratch this too. This cheese seems to be doing really well. I'm gonna call the cheese a go. So like I said though, I mean, you can see inside the pan here, um, the cheese releases a lot of oil. So that little TV trick of not needing your own oil, not needing your own butter, I guess there is a lot to that. But you're releasing a lot of fats and a lot of oils onto the pan that help it uh, maintain the non-stick structure. Let's go right into the uh, sugar. So I'm gonna wipe the pan out nice and easy. This goes just simple as simple gets. So. The next claim they make is making caramelized sugar by dropping sugar onto the pan and having it melt. And I know this is really popular with candy makers. It's a really sticky way of going about things. You can't really do it with a thin pan because it gets too hot. You need nice even heat. 
That's just my knowledge from a short Google. So if I'm wrong, go ahead and let me know in the comments. What I'm gonna use though are sugar cubes. I wanna see how it will melt nice and evenly straight down. Pretty exciting, it's kinda like watching paint dry. There we go. It's caramelizing the sugar quite nice. It's burning a little bit. So this is one of the claims made by them and it seems to be holding up. Pretty surprised. This is pretty fascinating actually. I haven't had this much fun since kinetic sand. To be fair, when you're cooking with this, you're probably going to take it out of the pan, but I would like to see this dry in here and see if it just pops right out. So, I mean, that is way cool. I can appreciate this, for sure. Alrighty, we've had a chance for this to kind of cool down a little bit, this sugar. And not coming out of there. Uh, I'm going to try to get it out. I'm going to use a rubber spatula. Let's see if we can dig underneath that and get that out of there. So, so nice, yucky, gross caramel to deal with. Nice. Okay. Not exactly sure how to handle this. Um, uh, well, I do. I think what I'm going to do is just heat the pan back up to try to get it out of there. I don't think you would, probably wouldn't let sugar dry in there, but who knows. So we're going to go ahead and heat this back up and, uh, wow. Okay. So I got to clean this pan, right? That is really just a, you know, if you want to test this pan out in many ways at your house, go ahead. Uh, this sugar, you let that dry, it just creates a mess. So I'm gonna heat this up as much as I can here. And let's see if we can get it out of there. Okay. Okay guys, so we can see that the sugar pretty much comes out just easy. Uh, after it's at room temperature, it it just comes off. So very happy with that. Me personally, I wouldn't clean my pans with a paper towel, I would be putting them in the dishwasher or soaking them. Doesn't really matter at that point. I mean, obviously it comes off, so it makes me happy. Alrighty, folks, uh, we're gonna do the scratch test here. This is the most disappointing part of the uh, video. You know, you have a non-stick pan, you have your Teflon pans, you have whatever pans. If you have if you have anything non-stick, number one, you, you paid a little bit for it, and it just becomes riddled with scratches almost immediately. When you have a pan that claims to be scratch proof, 20 bucks, man, I get excited. That's not the case here, but I'm just gonna go ahead. I mean, that didn't take much effort at all. You basically bought a pan that tells you that it's not gonna scratch and it's gonna scratch. Now it comes to would I buy this pan? Yes, I can see myself buying this pan for camping. Uh, that's pretty much where mine's gonna end up right alongside with this stove. Uh, I would buy it if I was a college student, if I was traveling around. Um, you know, this, I can't see this pan as being your everyday pan. Your, we got married, let's go to the store, we're gonna pick out a set of pans pans. You know, uh, but it is a fantastic pan. You put a little butter, put a little baking grease in there, I guarantee you'll be able to do the egg thing with it. I couldn't do it from the get-go, but come on, that's what we came here to find out, could you? And I couldn't, maybe they could, but I couldn't. Um, that's not saying you guys can't though. Give it a try if you buy the pan and let me know. So I can tell you uh, straightforward right now what you're gonna get. Through uh, redcopper.com, you're going to receive one pan for $19.99 plus $9.99 shipping and handling. And then your taxes on top of that are to be determined in the checkout. It's a good deal. It's a great deal for the pan. I mean, yeah, even at $30, it's still, it's still worth it. Um, through the Amazon link I'm gonna provide you guys down below, you guys can get it for $20. And that's just straight through Amazon. It's Prime. You know, if you have Prime, ships right to you. It's a great deal. I do encourage you to check out the Red Copper website, anyways, though, because, uh, and I'll put a link to that as well. 
they have some good deals there. I mean, if you really are crazy about this after my reviews, I mean, you can get two of them, three of them, four of them, and add-ons and add-ons and add-ons. But that's why I try to stay away from those websites is because of add-ons. It drives me crazy. It might drive you guys crazy, um, but I hate add-ons. I came here for one product. That's what I want to buy. Sell me that one product. Don't add on a bunch of stuff to it. Just sell me the one product. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Check out the blog. It's mostly going to be about um, what's written on the packaging, claims that they've made. That's just going to be written down. We're going to try a warranty on this and see how that goes. So once again, check out the blog. There'll be a link down there too, hopefully, uh, when it's all done. I appreciate you guys stopping by Arbitrary Reviews. For your suggestions are always welcome, and I'd be happy to review anything that you guys say, as long as I can afford to buy it, obviously. Can't exactly go out and, uh, you know, test out a Bentley or Gotti or... I would love to, you know, but can't. <laughs>